was supposed to be impossible for Reed Shepard to do this. Throughout his life, many wrote him off due to his looks, but now, in just one year, Reed Shepard has risen from a four-star recruit to the number three pick in the 2024 draft as future comparisons are starting to get crazy. 50% of general managers just picked Reed Shepard as their future 2025 Rookie of the Year, and after shooting over 50% from three in college, along with averaging over 20 points per game in the NBA Summer League, some are going as far as to compare Reed to a young Steph Curry. Only Reed is also an elite athlete in the traditional sense. He recorded a 42-inch vertical at the NBA's draft combine, which only adds to our intrigue. Because the question has to be asked, who is this guy? How in a single season did Reed Shepard go from undrafted on ESPN's first 2024 mock draft to now? A 20-year-old who many are saying has all the makings to be a superstar in this league? Well, what's up, guys? Mike here, and it is very common for point guards in the NBA Summer League to struggle. Even Steph Curry shot just 32.5% from the field in his Summer League experience, but Reed Shepard ended his Summer League with 20 points, 5.25 assists, 4.75 rebounds, and 2.75 steals a game as CBS called him the best rookie in his class while also saying there's a real case that Shepard should have gone higher in the draft. That is how impressive Reed was in Vegas. In just four games, CBS was already saying either the Hawks at pick one or the Wizards at pick two had messed up. Because as it turns out, the deeper and deeper we dig into Reed Shepard's story, we find more and more evidence for the thought that Reed Shepard is an NBA superstar to be. Because as a middle schooler in Kentucky, Reed was already deemed as a future legend. Now I know what you're thinking, Reed Shepard does not fit the mold of what an NBA superstar is supposed to look like, but this has given him the ultimate advantage. Because throughout his entire life, whenever he has entered a gym, Reed has had to prove himself. An actually unique situation when we consider that Reed's father, Jeff Shepard, was a two-time champion at Kentucky and the most outstanding player of the 1998 NCAA tournament. Jeff also played in 18 NBA games before retiring, while Reed's mom, Stacy, scored over 1,400 points at Kentucky herself. So Reed Shepard was not only born with elite genes, he literally had an NBA father, but instead of feeling entitled having an NBA dad, Reed developed an extreme chip on his shoulder because until he overwhelmed people with proof, nationally, Reed was overlooked. In Kentucky though, the Shepherds were UK royalty and Reed as an eighth grader was already a starter at Northern Laurel High School where the Harlan Enterprise would deem him an eighth grade standout. Then as a high school freshman already, we began to see why Reed was different, why he is special. But guys, before we continue, I'm very excited to say that DraftKings is sponsoring today's video. You are going to want to listen right now because I have partnered with DraftKings and they have a deal that is perfect for game day. And right now, customers who bet $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets. That's right, $200 in bonus bets. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use my promo code Corzemba. Bet just $5 and you will instantly get $200 in bonus bets. Stay in on the action and use your $200 $250 to bet on any time touchdowns. DraftKings is the place to bet on touchdowns, and if sports betting is still not available in your state, you can still join in on all the fun on DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where you have a shot to win cash prizes. So, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, use my promo code Corzemba and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code Corzemba only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video, and now, let's get back into that video. At that young of an age, Reed demonstrated extreme mental toughness, as despite the huge pressure his parents' past success put on his shoulders, Reed quieted even the biggest of doubters as he showed he was a young star, averaging over 20 points per game while instantly the entire state of Kentucky agreed Reed Shepard was their next local legend. As if this wasn't enough, in a signature performance against Jackson County, Reed, as a freshman, would finish the night with an absurd 24 point, 14 assists, 10 
rebound and 10 steal quadruple double. In the NCAA, a quadruple double has only been achieved one time in 2008 by Lester Hudson of Tennessee Martin. In the NBA, it's only been done four times by David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Alvin Robertson, and Nate Thurman. A quadruple double is easily one of the most rare things you can see in a basketball game. And after this game, the local headlines were major and the crowds got bigger. But despite this, Reed, after his freshman season, was not listed as a top recruit. He was putting up major performances, but as is typical in this story, Reed was being overlooked by everyone. This only gave him more reason to put on a show though, more reason to prove everyone wrong. And as a sophomore, Reed's game took a tremendous leap as he averaged over 30 points per game and had a 50 point triple double in a rivalry game against South Laurel. At this point in time, Reed's play had become undeniable and he would go from unranked to a five-star recruit seemingly overnight. But of course, those close to him knew the extreme work he was putting in to get here. And during the sophomore season against future NBA player Keontae George, scout Brandon Jenkins would remember in a key moment that Reed, quote, looks Keontae dead in the eye, shoots it over him, that's it. And I think that's a perfect description of his mentality. He's out there to kill, but he also plays the game the right way, which is really the biggest secret to Reed Shepard's success. Due to his unassuming nature, not only do people underlook his talent, but they also underlook the fact that Reed is the type of competitor who will do anything to win. When Steph Curry was a Davidson, people never thought that the baby-faced assassin was secretly one of the most competitive people on earth. They read a book by its cover. But if we look at what Reed Shepard has done, we find a kid who has a forever chip on his shoulder. Someone who never got the benefit of coasting, but instead has consistently had to prove himself. And by the end of his high school career, Reed's overall stats were eye-popping. He scored 3,727 total points. Third most in Kentucky state history. He had 1,214 assists. Second most in Kentucky state history. And to cap it off, he grabbed 1,050 rebounds at as a point guard. Reed also had a signature performance against none other than Bronny James the summer before his senior season. As in this game against Bronny, Reed showcased exactly what makes him great. That pass from Bronny is knocked away there by Reed Shepard. Shoe companies going toe to toe. Reed Shepard in transition. You know, one on one isolation basketball is really good if you got spacing or if you got shooters. Reed has an extremely high ceiling as a multi dimensional star. He is already an incredible passer who reads the floor at a level you cannot teach. He is a disruptor on defense who is always getting into defensive lanes. And in transition, he is a high level finisher who is able to use his athleticism around the rim. If anything, I think he needs to believe in his own athleticism while finishing a little more as he often settles for floaters when I think he can explain explode to the basket. The biggest thing about Reed that stands out though, is the fact that he can shoot the ball at the absolute highest of levels. From either a standstill position or off the dribble, Reed is both knocked down from mid range and limitless range. At this point, how could Reed Shepard possibly slip through the cracks? NBA dad, primetime performances on national television, a local legend. Despite all of this, by the time he graduated, Reed's recruiting stock had actually dropped as Reed had gone from a top 20 player in his class in the summer of 2022 to the number 44 overall recruit according to 247 Sports composite ranking by the end of his senior season. And on ESPN's first 2024 mock draft, Reed was not one of the top 60 players listed as being drafted. Meanwhile, five other Kentucky players were named on this list. As we know, Reed would get drafted higher than any of these five names, going from an afterthought to the number three pick in the entire draft. But even here, we have more controversy. With his parents being former Kentucky stars. Reed was seen as Kentucky royalty. However, Coach Calipari took longer than anticipated to recruit Reed originally, as it soon became clear that Coach Cal wanted nothing to do with Kentucky royalty. Calipari, who is now coaching Arkansas, was in a battle with upper Kentucky management, and Reed became an unfortunate piece of this drama. At Kentucky, when he played, Reed put up historically great numbers in a few categories. As a freshman, he was first in the SEC in steals per game with 2.5 a night, good for 
career eighth in the nation. He was first in the SEC in true shooting percentage with 69.9% shooting, which was good for fifth in the nation. He was 13th in the NCAA in defensive box score plus minus. He was 12th in the NCAA in steal percentage. He was first in offensive efficiency in the entire nation in scoring out of spot of possessions with 1.5 points scored per possession. And it's not like he's just an analytic darling. Reed's overall numbers of 12.5 points and 2.3 three-pointers made on 53.6% shooting from the field and 52.1% shooting from three along with 4.5 assists, 4.1 rebounds, and 2.5 steals a game show us that at the college level, Reed was a hyper-efficient all-around star. Except because of Cal's problems with Kentucky, Reed was forced into a much lesser role than he deserved and was not given a full-time starting position even. Just adding to the extreme adversity Reed Shepard has had to face every single turn of his career. At Kentucky, Reed's college career ended with a whimper. In the first round of the NCAA tournament, Kentucky, a three seed, was upset by Oakland in a game in which Reed shot just one of five. Not the best end to your college career. However, at this point, scouts were sold. Even though his own college coach did not believe in him, Reed Shepard was drafted number three overall and now on Houston with a chance to develop and grow behind Fred Van Vliet, Reed joins an absolutely incredible young core with Jalen Green, Amen Thompson, Kim Whitmore, Jabari Smith, and Alfred Singoon. In Houston, Reed is going to have every chance to succeed as he is exactly what this roster needs. A willing passer and leader at the point guard position who also just so happens to shoot 50% from three. So there we have it, guys. I want to know what you think down below. Do you think Reed Shepard is up next? Do you think he is a future star or do you think at this point in time he is getting overhyped? You know my position. Please remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. Thank you for watching. If you're still here, I think you'll enjoy this video on the Carl Anthony Towns trade or this video that YouTube has recommended specifically for you.